So they're now calling it Booney Ball. Apparently, that is happening from Michael K., who said, um, hey, Booney Ball. And um, a lot of folks have ran with this, this insane idea that now, all of a sudden, because the Yankees have uh, Goat Allen, Upper Echelon, Floriel, <clears throat> and these guys up here, they're now playing this new, different style of baseball that was never allowed to be played, you know, after 90-plus games because the Yankees just don't have that roster. Folks, don't buy it. Don't buy it. Please don't buy it. Let me throw some numbers out there for you. And again, this is not a um, long video. The research didn't take me too long. I actually got some notes today, so if you see me looking like that or looking at my notes, that's exactly what it is. I actually brought some notes to the table, something I don't always do. But I wanted to make sure that there's a valid argument to the idea of two players changing a lineup immediately that allows them to play boony ball. Wow, I can't believe I'm even saying boony ball. All right, boony ball players and people out there, let's get down to it, okay? First, we'll go over a couple of numbers, and then um, one of the main things that kind of opened my eyes up, I said, wow, that's pretty shocking with the players they have. And again, let me just say this up front. The Yankee team coming into 2021, right? We didn't know that the lineup would struggle. But anyway, before that, we expected this team to score runs, right? Everybody expected that. Nobody's uh, nobody's denying that at all, right? We, we definitely expected this team to score a lot of runs. Now they have not done that. So there is work in a sense that needs to be done where you got to look to mix things up. And everybody's response to that is, well, Pete, they don't have the players to do that. Really? They don't have the players that move runners over? They don't have the players that sacrifice bunt? They, anyway, let's get to the numbers, okay? Then we'll get down to, to the nitty-gritty, so to say. The Yankees have 16 sacrifice flies this year. That is 13th in the American League. Four of those come from Brett Gardner. They, are, they have 26 stolen bases. That is last in the American League at fifth, number 15 in the American League again. Um, I can tell you right now, just from the last couple of days, four of those are from Goat Allen and Upper Echelon Floriel. 91 double plays this year. Everybody knows how bad that is and how bad it has hurt the Yankees. So we know that already, right? Double plays hurt. Get a guy on, one out, less than one out. Happened many times in this club. Grounded double plays. We've seen it throughout this year. Rallies ended. First, you know, if man on first, no outs. First and third, one out. Double plays. Seven sacrifice bunts this year. Four of those are from Brett Gardner. But here's something very, very interesting for the people again who go, oh, they don't get on base enough. You know, they don't get on base enough to move guys over. They don't do none of that stuff. The Yankees have the fourth best on-base percentage in the American League, and they have the most walks in the American League. They get on base. They get on base enough to ground into 91 double plays. Now, again, for the people in the back who may not be able to hear you, boy, Pete, they don't, you know, they don't have the roster for it. So let's look at the Yankees' top fifth batters this year for, for at-bats, plate appearances at-bats, okay? At-bats, top 15. I'm going to give you the guys' names, okay? And I'm going to tell you how many at-bats they have and where they rank in the top 15. Number one, DJ LeMayu. He got 356 at-bats this year. Number two is Aaron Judge, 312 at-bats this year. And if, if you hear me skipping, like from a number, let's say from a four to a seven, you'll understand why when I'm done. Three, Glaber Torres, who has 295 at-bats this year. Four, Giovanni Urshela, who has 295 at-bats this year. Seven, Brett Gardner, 207 at-bats this year. Eight, uh, Rugnet Odor, 183 at-bats this year. Nine, Clint Frazier, 183 at-bats this year. Ten, Miguel Andujar, 183 at-bats, uh, 154 at-bats this year, sorry. 11, Aaron Hicks, 
108 at bats this year. And number 15, Tyler Wade, who has 62 at bats this year. So you may be saying, where's Stanton at? Where's Voight? Where's these other guys that got at bats? Well, here's the reason. I specifically mentioned the top 15. And there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of these guys. So 5 is left off. The top 4 is, again, DJ, Judge, Labor, Geo, but whatever. Out of 15 of the top at bats, I listed 10 guys who I believe, and I think you all would believe too, are very, very capable of playing small ball. These guys are very, very capable of being on base and having a hit and run happen. These guys are very, very capable of bunting the ball with no outs, one out, or whatever, usually typically no outs, moving runners over. They're very capable of things like that that they have not done at all. So again, I ask you, DJ LeMay, you folks, we know we can hit and run. Aaron Judge, ah, you may not want to do those things. We know he's not bunting. We know Aaron Judge is a guy not doing that. But he's still a guy that can move runners over, right? When you're hitting the ball to the right field, things of the nature. And the reason he's on the list, Judge could go first to third. Judge could go first to third in a hit and run. Glaber Torres. Why hasn't Glaber bunted more this year? Why have we allowed him just to continue to do what he's done for the majority of the year, and that's stink up the field? Giovanni Urshela, been consistent all year. Great guy to hit and run with. A great guy to hit and run with. So is DJ LeMayu. They make contact. They can hit the ball all over the infield, all over the outfield. Great guy to hit and run with. Brett Gardner, four sack bunts to his, to his credit. He has four of the Yankees, seven, and four of their 16 sacrifice flies. But again, the way Gardner has played, you haven't seen that enough, in my opinion. Um, I was going to say Francisco Odor. Um, Rugnet Odor, uh, again, a guy who now is really picking up. We've seen him do the drag bunt multiple times. Got two hits out of it, I think, the last couple of games. We've seen that, but this is another guy who could be utilized in that sense. He could work with him that way. Clint Frazier, this is a giveaway. For a matter of fact, let's just see for the hell of it, right? Clint Frazier this year, uh, Clint Frazier is right here. He has no sacrifice bunts this year. None of those. Also grounded at eight double plays, okay? So his average, what is it about Frazier that showed that he couldn't play ball like this? 183 at-bats he got, and his batting average was 186. They couldn't play small ball with a guy like Clint Frazier. He couldn't work on bunting. He couldn't do nothing like that. Miguel Andohar. A perfect guy to hit and run with. A perfect guy to hit and run with. Makes all the sense in the world. Aaron Hicks, we've seen how bad Hicks was all year when he was uh, when he was healthy. Never laid a bunt down. In my understanding, I know you could say, yeah, the Yankees don't pay him to do that. But folks, again, my point is, yes, the roster construction was not built that way. And mind you, Hicks had two sack flies. So I'll give him credit on that one. But mind you, I understand it wasn't built this way. I get that point. But you got to be able to adjust and play booney ball. You got to play booney ball, don't you? We're doing it now. Why did it take 90-plus games to play booney ball? Could have played it all year, actually, with the way this lineup has. I mean, they have been on base. Can't say they haven't. Tyler Wade gets 62 at-bats. He steals a few bases. But again, Tyler Wade does not have one sacrifice bunt this year. 62 plus at bats. Now again, I am not 100% certain if they did not uh, um 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 if they did not play in a uh, um what's it called? If he came up with men on base, I'm not 100% certain on that. I don't know right now. If he had opportunities with less than one out to maybe move a guy over, bunt the guy over. Um, but a guy like Wade should be bunting. Frazier struggled all year. You got to utilize him some way. You got to figure out a way to make him work. Again, eight double plays he's grounded to it himself. Andujar, hit and runs would work terrific with Andujar. DJ LeMayu, again, Glaber Torres, uh, Brett Gardner, Giovanni Urshela. These are guys that can do that. So don't give me that, oh, this team is all of a sudden doing it now and they're playing booney ball. No, they're playing to what these younger guys can bring to this club 
because they refuse to give them that chance all year long when fans like me been calling on it since May. So don't give me boonie ball. I don't want to hear that. I'm not giving this guy no damn credit whatsoever on something like this. Okay? Because he had the options all year to do it. How many tight games did we lose this year? Because of grounded into double plays or can't get a guy in from third base or not moving anybody over when he got second man on second, no outs. Don't even move a guy over. Because Aaron Hicks needs to swing. Clint Frazier needs to keep swinging. Can't call a hit and run with LeMayu because, you know, our guys are slow. Giovanni Urshela can't do a hit and run with him either. Glaber Torres can never lay down a bunt. He's Glaber Torres. He's earned a ton. He can't do that. Can't hit and run with, with Andujar. Can't hit and run with Frazier. Can't let Frazier bunt. Can't work on these guys. Goes, look, I'm sorry. We're losing games. We need to do a little something different. Tyler Wade gets 62 at bats and continues to do it. Doesn't really provide much to this club, but, you know, he's still here. So don't give me the boonie ball nonsense acting like, oh, my God, the Yankees call up upper echelon Floriel and my man Goat Allen, and all of a sudden, they're playing boonie ball. Bullshit. I'm going to have to call you out on that one. And Michael K., Take Boone's balls off your lap, my man. It's kind of disgusting at this point, bro. It's disgusting at this point. So they ain't playing no Booney ball. All right, let's get that straight. They could have played Booney ball all year. They didn't wait the 90-plus games to start playing it. Come on. You guys know it too. Yeah,